Celebrities react to NBA Youngboy passing away. Rest in peace, Youngboy. What grade did you drop out at night? NBA Youngboy was one of the biggest artists out of Baton Rouge, and lately, under the fire of some rappers who had beef with him, revealed some shocking news. Youngboy had gone viral for releasing the music video for his hit song, Win or Lose, while still behind bars. He also found success with his mixtape, 38 Baby, which received millions of views on YouTube. Many don't know this, but his stage name, NBA Youngboy, stands for Never Broke Again. He later changed it to Youngboy Never Broke Again. Make sure to stay tuned and welcome to Lime Report. Today, we'll be telling you everything you need to know about this situation one detail at a time, so be sure to pay close attention. Before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword Youngboy for a chance of winning our giveaway. Now, back to the video. NBA Youngboy was born Control Deshaun Golden on October 20th, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As a toddler, Golden broke his neck due to which he wore a temporary head brace for a short period. The brace left three permanent scars on his forehead. After Golden's birth, his father was sentenced to 55 years in prison. Subsequently, he was raised by his maternal grandmother. Golden continued with his studies until ninth grade, which after he dropped out to focus on his music career. That being one of the things that helped young boy with the talent he had at the age of 16 was compared to many at the age he is now. Quando Rondo also had a few words to give the NBA young boy. Quando Rondo was one of Youngboy's prodigies, so being that he was very close to Youngboy, he wasn't in a good mood at all. Quando Rondo is now facing the loss of his brother Mari and NBA Youngboy in less than the span of two weeks. You probably understand that Quando Rondo is in a dark place at the moment and needs some time to think about all of this. It seems everything he said in his IG Live was purely out of emotion and anger. Quando jumped into the live shouting at his fans, hoping he could get the word out. The first thing he said was, First, my brother, now, young boy, you guys have to too much. I'm gonna stop you from any more. You're bringing the old Quando Rondo back. Lil Dirk, the Chicago native. In the past couple of months, we've seen Dirk and NBA young boy get into some heated exchanges following their accomplices, King Vaughn and Quando Rondo. The four definitely put a name out for themselves on social media, and many even have had it that Dirk is behind the passing of NBA young boy. Could those rumors be true? Dirk did say he was gonna come for all of Quando Rondo's affiliates. Lil Dirk definitely was suspicious after he had talked about it on Instagram Live. After being asked what he thought about the whole situation, he answered with, I don't care about that boy. He had it out for my brother. I don't have sympathy for him or his family. Dirk was definitely on the rough side, and it seemed as if he really could have been the one behind all of this. Lil Durk is known as one of the craziest drill rappers in all of Chicago, so the odds of him being the one to pull up on NBA Youngboy are very high. Kanye West had a meltdown on Twitter as the star tweeted out to God asking him why he would allow this to happen on top of everything else going on in 2021. In his since-deleted tweets, Kanye took numerous jabs at the legal system while explaining in a cynical manner how the justice system is designed to be biased against individuals like himself and NBA Youngboy. He proceeded to thank God for sparing him from the same type of outcome. He then said that he had unreleased music with Youngboy in his final tweet before purging them all. Could we be seeing NBA Youngboy on Donda? Youngboy, who was freshly released from jail, was said to be at a corner store while a group of men had rushed him and the next thing we know, he's there laying lifeless on the ground. But back to Youngboy in his jail time. He was taken to the FBI custody Monday, March 22nd, 2021, according to several news outlets. Police attempted to stop a vehicle the rapper was in. He reported they had an outstanding federal warrant. After a short pursuit, Golden attempted to flee on foot. Police reportedly used a K-9 unit to track him down. He was arrested and taken into custody around 1 p.m. In September 2020, Golden and 16 others were arrested on drug and firearm charges while filming a music video in Baton Rouge. In December, Baton Rouge police were ordered to return more than $40,000 in cash and a $300,000 cashier's check and two diamond chains that were confiscated during the arrest. He was freed on a $75,000 bond. At such a young age, NBA Youngboy was inspired by a local artist. He came up with his debut album in 2015 at the age of 16. He soon followed it with the release of the Mind of a Menace trilogy. 
Just when everything seemed to be perfectly in sync, Destiny brought a major jolt in life as he was arrested on suspicion of first-degree attempted murder, and his surging career took a dip. Since then, Youngboy had kept up a hefty record facing jail time. It was as if he couldn't keep himself away. That's all for this video. Thanks for sticking to the end. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword Youngboy for a chance of winning our giveaway. See you next time on Lime Report.